I don't want to stretch this video for way too long and I'll just get into the main point. Just like many other recent gacha games, this game also has the many or infinite first beginner gacha roles, but that's not why this game is good. You know that many people saying that this game is a, uh, you know, kinda similar to that, <coughs> that game, but this game is way more better. And here, I'll give you the objective point or view as to why this game is good. First. And equipping gear in this game is free. Yes, you know some game um, have to pay just to <laughs> an equip gear, which is you know, <laughs> especially with how ridiculous the price is just to swap the entire set to another unit. But this game is well free, and moreover, this game has a grid gear preset system that doesn't limit the gearing system to just certain unit, which means even your tank can wear your best gear. Second. You don't have to worry about your gear substats. The reason why I pointed gear first in this video is because gearing is the second to worry after gachas, and you can rest assured since gearing in this game is really nice. You don't need to burn yourself harming just to get the substats you want on the wrong main stat or wrong gear set, or even the RNG layer that will cock you later by rolling hike into the wrong substat you wanted and making your gear just pure trash. In this game, well, you can just transfer the subsets into your desirable gear. Third, you don't need to worry about the SSR copy. Just like many games that require you to get the SSR copies, which in the first place getting them already a pain in the ass. In this game, SSR copies are quite negligible. Of course, getting them SSR copy are nice since you can use them as an extra fodder for starting up your SSR later, but it is not quite necessary. Also, dupe or copies in this game give your unit small extra stat boost, either for the unit itself or for the allies. Keep in mind that the stat boost is really small, henceforth it is negligible. Fourth, you don't need SSR unit to be good. It is not a secret anymore that in most gacha games, SSR units will be and must be very OP, and lower tire is trash. But in this game, that's not quite the case. In this game, even a 3 star footer is useful. Mind you, this unit gives your entire party a wide extra bonus turn, as well as heal and rejuvenation, and only has a 3 turn cooldown. Fifth, level difficulties are balanced. Yet another not a secret anymore that few first chapters of the game you play are easy, and then suddenly it went into Elden Ring level. Well, in this game, it is slowly building up. If you pay attention closely, you will notice it. And like the previous point I just pointed, your 3 star characters can carry you. I mean it. This character name is Grace, some might already familiar with her, and some don't. But I'm telling you that she can. And lastly, 6. New player quests are easy to follow. It is not nothing new anymore that most new gacha games have this beginner quest that will help you to go through or progress your newbie stage, but of course it comes with a really ridiculous mission that even a newbie having a hard time to process what was going on. But don't worry, in this game all the beginner quests are easy to follow. Many free gears that will help you to go through. Even the grace I just saw you earlier was using a free gear and is able to carry me through stages, be it normal or hard or even an event. 